Hey guys, what's going on? Greenville Gear. Uh, fun day today. I have a PSA return to show you. There it is. It's about 20 cards, maybe 18 cards. Um, I didn't write down the particulars for you. I know that I submitted this, I think, in late 2019, if that seems right. Maybe early 2020. And now it is, what, summer uh, 2022. So, did the order through PC Sports Cards. It's not their fault, of course, but it's just uh, the way that it goes at PSA. So, this is mostly baseball, but there's also a little bit of basketball and football 90s stuff in here. So, uh, let's get into it. I'm excited to show these to you. First card is the Chipper Jones Rated Rookie from 93 Donruss. And this one just looked clean. I looked at all these cards pretty closely. Uh, it's maybe a little off right to left. But the iconic rated rookie logo there, and uh, it came back a PSA 9. So that's not bad for a card from 1993. There's the back. So there's the chipper uh, rookie. So that was the first card. Uh, second card um, is this one. Um, I should have put my thumb over that, but this is a 9. Uh, this is 2016 update, Mike Trout. This is the horizontal uh, all-star game. Um, looked really, really sharp, really, really clean. Thought it would get a 10, and it got a 9. I got a little beat up on this order, I think. You'll have to let me know what you think. Um, but I'm a pretty good judge of my cards and have a pretty good eye at previous PSA and SGC orders. But this one left me a little disappointed just in terms of the, the 10 rate. I don't write any of that down or you know do predictions but i just know that of the cards i had these were the best examples so that was the um, trout horizontal i actually had two of these and so here's the second one and this one also got a nine so bit of a bummer uh on that still a cool card um by the way because it was so long ago i submitted these they were the more affordable i think ten dollars a card and so that explains partly why some of these are included. And, you know, I gave it a shot. Uh, another 2016 update. This is the Corey Seager rookie card. I was high on Seager. I still like him. Um, and so submitted this one from the Home Run Derby. Um, and uh, this one got a nine as well. But there's the Home Run Derby card. Uh, one more Seeger is another from 16 Update. This is the rookie debut. Sliding card, horizontal. Pretty cool card. Uh, rookie. And this one actually got a 10. So that's kind of fun. And like that card a lot. So this is not the base rookie. This is the rookie debut. Maybe a little less desirable for some folks. But I just thought that was a cool card. You can see the, the stamped rookie debut at the top of the card. Anyway, first 10 of the order. So that's kind of fun. Probably the biggest card of the order is this one. Um, I pulled this out of a pack of 2016 Panini Optic ages ago. And I've had this card sitting around and wanted to get it graded. So this is a Don Mattingly Auto. And, of course, not licensed. Um, so, you know, there's no Yankee logo or anything like that, as you all know. But this is the Mattingly Auto. I pulled this from a pack... It's got this really nice kind of green shine to it. Maybe you're getting a sense of that. Really nice. Just a beautiful card. Uh, it's not on card. It's obviously a sticker auto. Still pretty darn cool. So PSA graded it at an 8. I don't know. I thought maybe it would be a 9. Um, but, you know, it's always tough once you get into the business of autographs and so on. The other cool thing about this card that I didn't show you is that it is numbered, as you see here, uh, to three. So this is number two of three, and I pulled this. So that was really cool. One of my favorite cards that I pulled from a pack for sure. Just super cool, and it's really neat to have it in a slab. Okay, moving along. Here's some 90s Griffey stuff. This is 1992 Stadium Club. Love this image. The hat backwards, how cool is that? You know, that nice kind of little shine on the member's choice. Um, back of the card has that 
iconic kind of 90s stadium club look. But these cards were always just such beautiful photos. Anyway, this one came back as a PSA 9. So, cool card for the collection, no doubt about it. That's a really nice one. Another cool uh, Griffey card, 93 Donruss and a Mint 9. Uh, pretty cool. Um, not such a great image. There's a great swing photo on the back as the other one, but also just kind of classic Griffey, hat backwards. Really like this card too. 93 Donruss and again as a 9. Um, a few basketball cards mixed in here. I think I got these, if I'm not mistaken, at a antique store like last summer or the summer before. This is a 1996 Hoops Kevin Garnett, and it looked pretty clean to me. And as you see here, this is uh, early, early, early career for KG, and it got a mint nine. I think this was in a dollar bin or something like that, and I just thought, wow, this is too good to pass up. Early career Garnett on the hoops. Another one that I found, uh, I think this was also part of this, the next couple, uh, all three of these basketball cards in the 90s. This is a Shaquille O'Neal Fleer Ultra Rookie. Beautiful card. Acquired for a song. And it came out uh, as well, a PSA 9. You know, these cards from the 90s, it doesn't really surprise me you know i'm happy with nines on these especially cards that i got raw second or third hand so not a bad deal so there's my first shack rookie i'm stoked about that i'm happy to have that in the collection and another one is the upper deck from 92 draft pick just a beautiful card with the photo shoot here on the dunk this one only got an eight doesn't really surprise me it's got this black border um Seems to have like a little chip there, which I don't know if I missed it on the on the first pass around possible uh, that I did. And there's Shaquille's stats at LSU. So pretty cool. Uh, and I, you know, you, you hear lots of folks talking in the hobby about Shaquille O'Neal being um, undervalued, underpriced. There's some deals to be had. Uh, about seven or eight more cards. Um, 2016 uh, Francisco Lindor. This is the Future Stars. This is actually his second year card. I just thought the Future Stars imprint was neat. Uh, I like Lindor a lot. So this one got a PSA 9. I just like that photo. I like the 2016 design. Obviously, you saw in the order some of these other 2016s with the Trout and the Seeger and so on. So that was cool. And actually, I have another one. Uh, here's the second Lindor. Um, and this one actually got a Gem Mint 10. Which, of course, begs the question in the classic YouTube way. You can look at these two and see if you notice any difference in my eye. I can't really tell. But there's got to be something that differentiates, differentiates these for sure. Um, 2014 Bowman draft picks. Top prospects. Here's a Corey Seager. I pulled this. Mint 9. I always like the back of this card in this set. So there's a Mint 9. That's the base from 2014 uh, Bowman Top Prospects. And then I also had this one, which is the Top Prospects Silver Ice. Nice shine to it. I was hoping, hoping, hoping. Mint 9. So all that talk about grading getting a little tougher in the hobby, you know, I don't really know what I feel about that, but... Compared to some other orders, this one, this one was a tough one. As I was picking the best, you know, I think I had, you know, each one of these, I had four or five, you know, the Seegers and the Trouts and so on. Here's a 98 Tops. I think this was also an antique store pickup for a dollar, maybe. Uh, what's cool about it, of course, is, I mean, who doesn't like Richie Sexton, but um, really the David Ortiz um, top prospect card from 1998 Tops. This is card 257. And this one uh, was graded as an 8. So, Ortiz rookie, now Hall of Famer, since this card was submitted. And then one more random card that uh, I pulled from a pack from 2013, SP Authentic. This is a Travis Kelsey rookie. 
from his Cincinnati Bearcats days. These, these cards are beautiful. Nice thick stock. This was just fun. Before the hobby blew up in the pandemic, you could get hobby boxes of SP Authentic, you know, still um, for a reasonable price. And so I had picked up this Kelsey. Nice looking card, pretty card. And what's really nice is it scored uh, or was graded a G uh, Gem Mint 10 from PSA. So there's the Kelsey rookie, the top, top, top uh, tight end. So anyway, that's the order. Thanks for watching. It was a lot of fun. I'll have, of course, other stuff on the channel to show you and, and uh, appreciate you tuning in uh, and drop a comment. Let me know what your favorite card was or, um, you know, what you, what you thought of the grades and all that stuff. And, and uh, I'll look forward to hearing from you. All right. Thanks. I'll see you on the next one.